Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Full Walkthrough. This is episode 36, Fate Doesn't Change. So, um, today is going to be the chase of Cloud after Aerith and all kinds of weird stuff, so. We are live, yes. Alright, let's go. Uh... We are at a level... What level am I? At the end of the world. It says end of the world. This will be interesting. Nope, it's a, it's making me walk on my own. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Why, why is it... It's making me walk on my own. Head deeper... With the others. I, I don't want to head deeper with the others. Alright. There we go. Make another save file. Over chapter 11. Who cares? Uh, chapter 10. Over chapter 10. I'll do another one. Chapter 4. Alright, here we go. Alright. Moving on, Cloud Company following after Aerith, who has disappeared. Oops. And the game is making me walk, even though I don't want to. Must have been some dream you were having, judging by the way your eyes were twitching. Don't know if I'd call it a dream. Either way, something happened to you, didn't it? Yeah. I got sent to another world. Apparently, there's at least a few more than one. Is that right? I'd explain, but I don't think I can. It's all right. Doubt I'd want to hear it anyway. Cloud's trying to explain the multiverse to Barrett, and Barrett's just like, uh... What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Willis. Is it just me, or is there something weird about this mist? There is. Do you see them in it, too? The whispers? Yeah. I'm afraid to say it, but if the whispers control fate, then does that mean we were destined to be separated from Aerith? Maybe. Uh, why'd I have to open my mouth? Yes, Red can see the whispers as well. Barrett and Tifa, without Aerith around, I don't think they see the whispers anymore. Hey, Cloud, promise me, if you start feeling sick or thinking weird thoughts, You'll let us know, okay? Thoughts like... For example, stuff like... Thinking... I'm not the real me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I do want you to talk. To me, or someone at least. Alright. I can do that. Yeah, Tifa's like, please don't try to stab me again. Because I don't think that... I don't know if the team actually can oh. see Sephiroth. I've apologized to everyone else, but not to you, so I'm sorry for giving the keystone to Shinra. I truly am. I just thought that since it was so dangerous, I'd rather something happen to one of them than to one of you. No need to explain yourself. <laughs> You're a good man, Cloud. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Oh, I'm still pretty pissed. Just got bigger fish to fry. Right, that makes sense. Still, I'll do what I can to help. And we'll fry those fish together. Party's all talking to Cloud. I guess Yuffie's gonna hang back now and talk to Cloud next. Since everybody else already talked to him. Or Yuffie doesn't. Nope, Yuffie is hanging back. It's her turn. Hi, Brianna. Okay, never mind. Yuffie is not gonna talk to Cloud. The Grand Metropolis, where the ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Until today. This is it, right? You know, I think it is. Yeah, Gramps told me all about it when I was growing up. He called it the Forgotten Capital. 
said it was the heart of Cetran civilization, but I never thought I'd see it. And this place screams Fancy Altar. Aerith's gotta be here. Well then, let's go get our girl. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those assholes are fixing to get in our way again. Look at them, though. Yeah. They're different. Don't belong to fate or the planet. They belong to Sephiroth. I'm waiting, Cloud. <sighs> what is all this? It's the end. Sephiroth. <laughs> Good, Aaron. Pray. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet. Sephiroth is just crazy OP. <laughs> Alright, so the Black Whispers are supposed to represent Sephiroth, and the White Whispers are supposed to represent Aerith. So we've got a battle of light and dark in the sky. That's interesting. Why are these ones white? I don't know. But they sure don't like us. Mm. Oh. No, it seems like the white ones are hanging out with you, Cloud. Like they're trying to protect you guys from something. Oh, never mind. Heads up! They're fighting us. Well, there goes that idea! <laughs> Was a cool idea and completely rejected. I mean, you know. How is Cloud's fault that Zack died? Cloud couldn't do anything with Comatos. Zack protected Cloud. In Crisis Core, Zack protected Cloud. I'm not doing any damage. Deal with that. Tifa, you want to give it a go? Alright, Tifa's hurting me. Good. Is Tifa hurting you? Mm. It's possible. I mean, I did the newsletter early in the morning. Luckily, the shorts are just off, so... Yup. Maybe because we have... We upped our... Because we have so many shorts, maybe we're dominating the shorts uh, thing on YouTube. We have almost a thousand shorts on YouTube. In fact, by the end of this month, we'll have exactly over a thousand shorts that we've made. So, probably just like before, there was a time when we first started, when we, once we hit our first thousand videos, that's when we started to go viral more often. It's because we were basically dominated in search engine content all those years ago. 
Yeah, we couldn't be making a comeback because of the shorts that we do yet. And the fact that we do two shorts a day, maybe we're showing favorable in the shorts algorithm now, I don't know. But a lot of our shorts now average after a few days up to 10,000 views. So. It could be possible. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really... I've talked to our YouTube partner manager guy about it, and he's like, well, the short algorithm is different than the YouTube algorithm. But he says, I don't really... Nobody knows enough about how it works and how to have favor with it or anything. It's all speculation. And he says, we're, we're working on trying to make the shorts work as well as YouTube. And then when he said that, I was like, oh no. Yeah, right? Because, right, if you combine the shorts with the YouTube algorithm, then people who are basically bouncing back and doing better, like hourly view-wise, if they incorporate that with the... Short, uh, the YouTube algorithm with the shorts. A lot of channels are going to be trouble. Right. I'll be damned. It's like we're back on the expressway. Aerith! Remake all over again. Where's Aerith? He's stuck inside of that vortex. How are we supposed to get through? Shouldn't be too hard. Just gotta say the magic words. Daddy's coming home real soon, honey. Oh How'd that work for you? Uh, no thanks. I'm good. There is. Team held the door open so he could get in. Wow. Hey, Link, are you coming up? I was thinking about it. Whoa, Whoa. easy there, buddy. <coughs> Hello. You you coming for Final Fantasy? <coughs> we should have named uh, this guy Little Cloud because he's so rough and tumble. No. Cloud is, be... Cloud is not rough and tumble. We made we named him Link because when we first met him, he was climbing things very high, like Link from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at him. And he still hangs out in his little watchtowers, like his little cat climber areas. Mm. Right. Okay, where are you going? He wants to go on your lap, Luke. No, he's not on my lap. Look again. He's on sideways. He's, um, he's hanging on the corner of your leg. Yeah. And just smashed between you and the the edge of the couch. Yeah, he is. <sighs> Link, why don't you sit directly on Luke's lap? Why are you smashed between him and the couch? And um, I have an appointment at uh, 8.30 in the morning tomorrow. With that agency. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Alright, sweetheart. Cloud is it? I don't even know what to call this time. I'm so pretty about it. Cloud. What are you why are you licking me? Stop that. Weirdo. Just rest. No. What? here. Oh, this is an elevator of some sort. Beyond the wall. That's what and this is called. Sephiroth created this, like, with his mind in, like, a few seconds or something? No. Oh. I got confused. What was happening? This is the Temple of the Agents. Ancients. 
This is the place oh. where Aerith prays in the original Final Fantasy VII. This oh, no. is, yeah. This was not a good place for Aerith to come to in the original Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. We'll see if Rebirth changes anything or, you know. Yeah, I mean, I guess what you were saying was interesting before those light things started attacking you is that Aerith represents what to do with spiritual power as a good person and um, Sephiroth represents what to do with spiritual power as a bad person. Well, for a brief instant, I <laughs> thought that the white um, things that we've seen were Aerith. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the black things were Sephiroth because originally the Arbiters or the Whispers were gray in Remake. Right, and then they turn into white. They turn. They turned into black in the first game, like at the end of the first game. Oh. And then the white ones started to appear in this one. Yeah, so maybe it was representing Aerith because Aer Aerith has spiritual power, and so does Sephiroth. Everyone else is just humans. Mm -hmm. Well, Barrett has a cool gun, though. Aerith is praying at the altar in hopes of putting a stop to Sephiroth's plans. There will be no chance to rest beyond this point. Make sure your party is prepared. Whenever you... Okay. Oops. All right. We rush to her side. All right, so this is, a, mm. this is the last place we can I'm getting nervous. save or do anything. Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I still don't even have any... Uh... Ha! I can't even get anything. I guess we can save, and then, like, if we die, we could always come back here. Uh... Uh, well, I think we're not going to die, though. I think you're doing pretty well. ATB limit... I can't even get anything even if I want to, though. I keep forgetting. This isn't the end of the whole story, though, even if it's the end of the game. No, it's not the end of the story. It's, uh, it'd be... This is probably the end game for, uh, for this. Mm. Okay, so there's nothing I can do here with that. Well, Sorry. Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, Cloud, it's the end game. Make sure to fix your hair. Comb it for once. It's literally all over the place. I don't have any Giga Potions. You need a comb. That's what you need to take with you to the end game. <sighs> Two. I can picture Cloud and Tifa getting married in the future. They'll be like, we're going to a family function. Um, Are you sure you have everything you need? Cloud's like, I'm fine. It's like... Are you sure you don't want to use a comb? I sweetheart? have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling that they're probably going to put their relationship on pause after the events of this um, story. Well, this one for a while, just like at the original game where he spent the night with Tifa, like they're near their final battle. Because Cloud was pretty disturbed by what happened to Aerith. It wasn't until near the end of the game that he and Tifa actually started to talk again in the oh, original. Wow. But since this game has built up, you know, relationships of the characters, maybe... Maybe it'll be different. Maybe it'll be different. But one of the things that Tifa said before we even came here, she's like, um, maybe if you ever start to feel like I'm not me anymore or you're starting to have weird things, she says, please let me know. Because right. she, she kind of wants to have heads up if he's uh, yeah, going like, to do crazy stuff. Like, Tifa, you have the face of a lizard person. And it's telling me I need to kill you. Is that something I should tell you about? Yes, it is, Cloud. <laughs> yes, you should let me know if you make me think of a lizard person. Mm. Did I already sit on the bench? I sat on the bench. Okay. It's like, are you really a lizard person, Tifa? No, I'm not. I think you need to go to therapy. See, for me, it would make sense that Aerith would be the ones controlling the White Whispers. Yeah. Because also, she has seen the future, just like Sephiroth <clears throat> has been able to view the multiverse. Aerith also has been able to view the multiverse. Yeah, I mean, in this story of Final Fantasy VII, I mean, just knowing how the original goes, it's too bad Aerith's life was cut short in the original Final Fantasy VII because imagine how powerful she could have become as, like, a light warrior or something well, fighting against South Sephiroth. I have a theory. If Aerith does die and they, you know, do the thing again, mm -hmm. I think the Aerith that we saw... Um, 
where Zack comes from, I think she's still going to be alive. So, you think an Aerith will survive somewhere else and be happy with Zack? It's a multiverse now. I think that a few Aeriths might survive. Interesting. But I could be wrong. I hope she gets to be happy. I hope Zack gets to be happy. Oh, she is praying. Right? Yeah, she's praying. To keep the others safe. Oh no. Both are preventing me from moving. The white and the black are preventing me from getting Baby, close to Aerith. So much to me. So please, tell me how to do that. I'm begging you. Oh, that's a twist. Cloud's gonna kill her? What? Oh my gosh, Cloud, what are you doing? Sephiroth doing it. Dude, what are you doing? You should scream like, Aerith, watch out. Aerith. Uh, this isn't good. Sephiroth's got to take a stab at it again. No! Aerith is still alive. What a twist! Wow. He actually stopped it. But we saw him block the attack, unless it was all in his mind. I guess some fates can't change. showing different clouds. Some are crying, some aren't. Just like you. Cloud, it's okay.
Aerith. I'll kill you! Aerith! Blood in some. No blood in others. Even Tifa sees something going on. And so it begins. A confluence of worlds and emotions. Loss, chief among them. It engulfs fleeting moments of joy, transforming them into rage, sadness, hatred. Never have I felt them so keenly. No blood anymore. I got this. The White Whispers are Aerith's. Yeah. However, you'll never see the truth with such clouded eyes. Shut up! After all, you are just a puppet. I thought Cloud is the main character of this game. My gameplay 90% of the time features too much. <laughs> Let's do it. Ready. Couldn't have done any better. You're up. My turn. Don't overdo it. Stop not throwing in the towels. Let's do this right. I thought I saw a ton of the Got it. I thought Luke was the lead on the channel, why is Amber doing videos on the afternoon? It's like, because I exist as well, but I don't care what I do. Cloud, you got it. Alright, you're taking over. Counter stance. Keep it together. Let me do some heads up. Barrier says check. You're up. Here I go. Alright, well, uh, let's try to do Thunder and the Barry. Oh, I'm glad that she was telling me it was okay. Don't let me down. I got this. It made it less scary. Take the lead. I got this. I thought it was going to be more gruesome than that. I, uh, I mean, you know, it was. Barry destroyed. Well, that's the case. Relentless rush. Tifa Cloud, go. On it. Boom. No stagger, but still. Let's do this. Oh, he's got Tifa. Oh no. I'm your one of those Oops. Hey, 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 hey! Let go of them. You've done it before. You can do it again. Yeah, let's finish this. this. Sort of. That's what the chat was saying. Uh, blade burst. 
Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll answer some questions about ready. other games in a minute. I don't want to ruin the dramatic like, music. Sorry. You good? Yeah. Cloud, Tifa, go! Good. <clears throat> I missed! Come on, Luke, you can do it. Oh, I'm I'm strong enough to level, I'm not worried about it. Um, yes, Freedom Planet should be tomorrow. Well, if people get enough views. If people get enough views on Freedom Planet. Freedom Planet, as I saw during Ace Attorney, it's currently at 940 if it gets a views. If it gets a thousand, it'll be tomorrow. Mm hmm. Yeah. It still needs uh, close to 100 views in order to get another episode. And uh, guys, we're past the 30 minute mark. Let's get those likes up for uh, Final Fantasy. Great to see you guys and gals. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Savon. Hi, Gameling. Hi, Nintendo Lover Girl. Hi, uh, Tim. Hi, OH. Hi, Julia and Jacob Lang and uh, Jeffrey. Joe Terrell and uh, Jacob Lang. Great to see everyone. Scale. What is a buddy? <laughs> We're gonna hurt Genova though. Uh, yeah, our cat is very stressed about air. Right Seriously, Genova? It's split up. Thank you for the super chat. I'm Alex. Thank you, Alex. Alex says, oh, sorry, I haven't been around. I've been asleep for the past few days. Almost every day I've been asleep. And like and share, please. Thank you, Alex. This fight's not over yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tifa, you gotta get the girl. Get it together, girl. Let's do this right. Bring it. Unbridled strength, go. Thanks, Game Wing. Appreciate that. Come on. You asked for it. Come on. It's getting away. I got it right where I want it. Barrett in red. Good to go, Nana King. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. I just love the characters in this so much. Come on. Like, Final Fantasy VII was an experience when you played the original, you know, in the 90s, but the character personalities, their traits, their emotions, like, Square really did remake this franchise. And I'm very much yeah. looking forward to how the story wraps up in a couple years, but, like, it made, the remake and rebirth made the game even more endearing for me than it ever was, because I was not really super attached to Final Fantasy VII the way a lot of people were, you know, yeah. since it was the first 3D game. I really related more to the characters in uh, Final Fantasy VIII than I did Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VIII was a very emotional game. Um, 
And then, of course, Final Fantasy X was super emotional, too. Hi, Savon, great to see you. Oh, yeah, definitely, Luke. Maximum Fury, go. I understand. Jade Rose is the music in this is amazing. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's coming your way, Yuffie. Been waiting for Alright, Yuffie, go. Yeah, I agree. You gotta admit, it's been awesome having me on the team, right? Hasn't been boring. <laughs> you can say that again. You're out of luck. Wow, this scare, this creature looks crazy. It's Jenova. Yeah, I, I agree with everything I'm you said with where you. they really did make the series and make it exciting. Because they actually made it so it changed the, the original story a little bit. It's, I mean, if Aerith died, then they didn't deviate too far away from what the original story was, because her death had a lot of gravity to the story. Yeah. But I feel like, even if she's dead this time around, that maybe she's still going to have an important role to play, because there is another Aerith. There might yeah. even be more than one Aerith, I don't know. Yeah, she's still in the multiverse, they're uh... Either Cloud is tripping out, or the multiverse really does exist. Like, maybe he thought he saved Aerith, but he didn't. So, you're enjoying, are you enjoying this more this time around than when you played it originally? When I played the original game, I played it by myself. So I have you here, so it adds a whole other element than what I'm experiencing. There's a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is cool! They're doing a team attack. They're all doing team attacks. So this is supposed to be the most I'm powerful game in Genova. Mind if we drop him? Because we thought we'd swipe by! Yeah. Genova's getting wrecked, but it's not quite dead yet. Ready? That's an awesome triple attack! Please let us do that in the uh, sequel. It's over 9,000. I want to see triple attacks in the third game. Oh, oh it's not done yet. You're ready to close down the tile. Long as you guys are We didn't want to go as this far, and the rest is up to us. Can you help with that cloud? Yeah. Let's finish this. Oh, Tifa and Barrett, I have a different party currently. So you were saying, like, I think that they did a really good job remaking Yeah, I think they did a good job remaking this. Who's up for a fight? I don't understand. I don't know why in some of our older episodes people were like, this is just a cat grab. Well, they don't, I think that's a... I think they really did a great job recreating the characters and fleshing them out and stuff. The characters are... Need to heal up. They, they have so much more depth to them now than they did. Yeah. My personal opinion. Yeah, I think so too. And you get to explore the relationships between the characters a lot more too. I wonder if even Cloud and uh, Barrett's friendship was as well done in there. No. Or he made fun of the onions and stuff. No. <laughs> Barrett basically felt like, if I'm being completely honest, the original Barrett um, in the 90s felt like your typical, like, B.A. Baracus character. Like, he was kind of like the big tough guy. And, you know, he... This one, they talk about his daughter a lot, mm -hmm. which really fleshes out his character a lot. Where yep. he, even at the end, where he was like, Daddy's coming home soon, he's always thinking about his daughter. He was thinking about his daughter in the original one, but he had more moments with Marlene in the uh, modernized version of Final Fantasy VII, both Remake and Reaper. Like, yeah. his daughter is, is more of a focus than it was... Like, he was a dad trying to get back to his kid, but, like, it felt like the characters that had the most character development in the original Final Fantasy VII was, like, Aerith, Cloud, Tifa, and Sephiroth. So, now it's like everybody, everybody is flushed out. Mm hmm. Even Red. Even the little moments where you have, like, um,. <laughs> side quests and stuff like that where you can see more of the characters like even you feel for the cat even, a little bit i still don't like the cat oh come on luke the cat the cat always portrays the team but i'm through with you what i don't understand his reasoning for that he said like 
I felt it would have been better in the hands of them than if it was you guys. You'll find out in the third game. They'll probably go over it. Don't overdo like, it. There's so much that they have to explain, or maybe we'll get DLC about why he did it. Could I don't know. Leave it to me. I got this. Stagger. Going in. Yeah. You got this, Bob. Yeah. Oh, this, is, this game kind of feels like Dad on the road trip with his elder children a little bit sometimes does draw them. Yeah. There, yeah, you can definitely do it. Barrett is one of my favorite characters in, in this. Zack! White, as far as the eye can see. Hey, anybody there? <laughs> How about that? you too. So, I hear you've been pretty busy. Oh. Whoa! Yeah, he touched him! When he touched him, he went into his world! He touched me when I been, heard you've been pretty busy. You just tapped him on the shoulder. Zach? Uh, how's about we save the catching up for later? Sephiroth! Zack and Cloud fighting together against Sephiroth? Oh my gosh, this is different. Yeah. I guess we now are gonna know what would have happened if Zack had been still been alive. I guess we'll find out. Sephiroth's like, I can take you too easy. I'm actually still scared of him. No, Zack is more powerful than Cloud. Sephiroth's in big trouble. Cloud, you ready for this? And uh, Zack is here with yeah. his original Buster Sword. Yeah, he is. All right, press square to slash with a Buster Sword. Hold the button to launch enemies into the air. Ooh. Hey, we'll play as Zack. A little bit. All right. Follow my lead. Look at you taking charge. I like it. So I'm sorry. What the hell happened to you? You were a soldier. How could you turn your back on everything we stand for? Easily. Right. As long as you get what you want, who cares who gets hurt? Is that it? You really got it coming. Mother. No, Cloud doesn't quip. Zack quips. Zack is more emotional. Meteor shots? Wow, this is really interesting. This is gonna sting! Whoa! <laughs> Zack's got Here Meteor! Jason says, wow, here we go, Zack and Cloud side by side, let's go. I'll kill you! Bringing out the big guns! <laughs> it's like, oh, Jason. Bye now! Yeah! <laughs> Chain slash. These are moves that Cloud used to get. Like in the you know, the later half of the game. The the original game. Meteor and Slash and all this other stuff. As well as these are some of Zack's moves from Crisis Core. That's really cool. It was really cool how they brought him into the world where he was just being goofy and he Charge was just, level two. He was just like, Oh, you don't even don't know anything. Look to away. Say. Tapped him on the shoulder and came right in. Got him. I wonder if you did check someone from another world. I don't know. This is the limit. Rush attack. 
Dang! Bye now. Let's bring it home. <laughs> Great mind. This is awesome. Oh, I'm here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're here too, Cloud. Sorry, Cloud. It's the Zach show now. <laughs> Soldiers with honor. Cloud. With good going. Good to go. Copy. Zach likes clouds, friend. Well, yeah, why wouldn't he? Oh, I'm just trying to figure it out. Brace yourself! If not, just they feeling so hot. Uh oh. No, 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 don't, don't lose, uh... Taking over. You heal yourself, Zach? Bye now! <laughs> You're up. Come on. Do it. Let's go. Copy. Bet that hurt. You're Bet up. that hurt. I wonder what their combo is. This Do it. I, I don't know. I'm trying to unlock their synergy, but. Let's go. Yeah. With me. Annie says, I called it. Awesome, Annie. On my honor as a soldier. Get him, Zach. Bye now. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. <laughs> oh my god. I feel bad for Sephiroth. Right? <laughs> feel bad for Sephiroth? No way. Sephiroth is leaving. With me. <laughs> Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. Oh my gosh. Cloud, save her. What? Zack left the party. Come on, Square. Alone at last. Shall oh my gosh. Oh. How can we do this without Zack here now? Backing down. I'm finishing this. Yeah, I'm. I'm waiting. <laughs> immune, 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 immune. Wonderful. Um, maybe. Do you have a barrier? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that happened. Okay. Good luck, thank you. Buzz off. Maybe Zach came in and purged. That's it. Maybe. Or where everyone else was. The white whispers are back. They're pushing him down. Aerith is fighting him from beyond the grave. Gotcha. I'm not really doing any of that yet. There we go. Now I'm in it. Mm. 
Any last words? Kinda hurt him. I feel like Sephiroth was better before. I mean, Sephiroth always turns into a monster. Like, he... This isn't his final form that he has at the end of the original Final Fantasy VII. It's a monstrous form for Sephiroth, but it's not his final It's like, we saw him turn into a monster in the previous game, I think. Final uh, Fantasy VII Remake, I thought he had a monstrous form. I don't remember. Ow, 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 ow. Chopper action. He did not appreciate that. There's a lot of um, cutscenes and not like a lot of like uh, quick time events. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Yeah. I mean, I like the cinematic stuff, don't get me wrong. Any sign? Maybe the whispers got him. You think they took him somewhere? Look out! Where's Paul? <gasps> Sephiroth! Bahamut? Party's level 50, but they don't have a lot of sympathy. Good to go. Um, I think when he said save her, I think he wanted her to save Aerith. Yeah, he was talking about Aerith. Even though Aerith's dead, maybe there's some way Cloud can still save her. Zach loves Aerith, so Aerith is always on his mind. Aerith was on Zach's mind when he died. Yeah. Crisis for trying to figure out who her was. She's already there. It, it has to be her. Has to be her. This is the person that Zack cares about is her. It's not gonna be you, Pierre. No. no, no, no. <laughs> also, unlike Cloud, Zack is not a harem guy. Right. He only has one girl. Yeah. Now, take out the wings. Let me take care of those wings for ya! The only reason Cloud had an attachment to Aerith anyway is because of his memories of Zack. Right. It drew him to Aerith. That's the only reason why exactly, because he had memories of Zack's memories. Right now, people understand that uh, Cloud is not fully whole right now. Although in this game, like with the modern remakes, what they've done different. Is they basically made a mm, <coughs> cloud unsure of who he is more so than ever. Like before, mm, he didn't act like he had amnesia as much. Mm. Which, kind of like when I was playing the original Final Fantasy VII, I always saw a cloud with a clone. Like until like the very end of the game, when it's like, no, his real personality comes back. Because I was always under the impression, you know, Well, that... some of the stuff Sephiroth says makes it easier. Well, yeah. Well, no, in, in this one, uh, I think he really is Cloud. And I thought he was really Cloud in the original, but I'm saying my first time through the original Final Fantasy VII, yeah. until the game tells you that Cloud is back, I always thought, okay, because of Hojo and all this other stuff, and Zack, like, he's a clone. That's why he has all Zack's memories, and that's why he has Sephiroth's oh, memories. Yeah. It made sense to me. Yeah, that. Um, yeah I understand why you would think that. <laughs> Help us out. Even Sephiroth just said, "You're nothing but a puppet." Right. So it makes him feel. It makes it feel like he's, he's not a real person. Yeah. 
numbers. The real cloud has always been in love with people. The cloud that has memories of Sephiroth, Aerith, and Cloud favors Aerith because, for the most part, the personality that has most control over Cloud's mind and memories is Zack. Until in the original game, when Cloud is basically made whole again. Let's finish this. Which is, I think it was near the end of the last disc. I don't remember. It was too long ago. I've only played through the original Final Fantasy VII once. Chakra. Do this right. yeah, yeah. Is that not Oh, it did work. Okay, Time good. Get Bahamut. Bahamut is healed. Yeah. Ouch. I don't know where Cloud is. So I have no Cloud idea. is fighting Sephiroth on another plane of reality somewhere. Oh. Cloud's team is fighting Bahamut in another version of Sephiroth right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. We actually... There could be multiple Sephiroths here in this dimension. We don't know. Wow. He does look really cool, though, Sephiroth. I think we were supposed to... Odin will take care of Muhammad for us. All right, Bahamut's gone this time, and Bahamut's back. You didn't like that, did you, Seppi? Meanwhile, Zack joined the party. Representing the audience's opinion. No one knows what's going on, Zach. Yeah, exactly. Embrace your dreams. And whatever happens, protect your honor as a soldier. See, those are Zach's words. Oh, wow. So... Let's settle this once and for all. Right, so Zach is mostly the uh <clears throat> like the dominant personality within Cloud. Until later on in the original game, yes. All his fighting skills, all that other stuff. Because remember, Cloud wasn't a real soldier. Okay, I need to get in that game. That'd spot. be weird if he Cloud came to his senses and then he would be bad at fighting it for that. Well, no, I mean, his body is that of, like, a Hojo created it. Yeah. Or fixed it. Yourself. Fixed Cloud. Yeah. Ouch! Alright, I think the goal is for uh, Zack to stand inside this healing circle. Together as one. I guess we get to see Cloud and uh, Zack's move. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, on it. Get it up going easy on you. All right. Time to go all out. <laughs> Watch and learn. No, let's not. <laughs> you ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah. Yeah, hard to get to the other hey, yeah. stuff. No, it's okay. I'm just happy we finally get to play Zack a little bit. I hope they really focus on more Zack in the third game, because he didn't really do much in this game. It's just kind of like a tease of what's to come. Yeah. Almost like maybe Zack should have been Bring DLC. Yeah, he comes in at the end. Like Yuffie, you for know. A few seconds. You know how Yuffie was DLC and added like two hours or three hours of additional content? That's kind of all Zack feels like in this game. I really, when I saw Zack like being teased, 
I really thought they were going to do more with this character. I think they will in the third game. I highly doubt they're going to kill him. No stopping me now. Gotcha. Oh uh, no, he was a real soldier, Alex. He just wasn't as good of a soldier as Zack. This is gonna stay. You'll have to wait till the third game. Cloud was in the military. And he was a friend of Zack's. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, you feel that. You feel that? Sephiroth's being attacked by three different teams at the same time, in different planes of existence. Uh, he just pretty bold in himself! Then we keep fighting! Hey, that's it here for you! We've gotta take out the barrier! It's those stupid wings! Alright, where's this barrier at? Uh... No, no, Alex, the, you're not, um, they haven't actually explained it completely yet. They've only given hints of Cloud's past. So the only way you would actually know is if you played the entire original Final Fantasy VII. Also, you have to play which, the, the whole trilogy as a remake, too. Like, they're not even... Cloud is supposed to be going crazy at this point in the original Final Fantasy VII, and after it... And they haven't really dived in a lot to Crazy Cloud. Crazy Cloud was an aspect of the original. So we haven't really gotten to see a lot of it. We've seen some teases of it, but not to the extent that... Uh, I would think that they would do more with it. Yeah, reality is changing as we speak, says Max. Spells, thunder. This calls for a smite. I don't even think that one. Ouch. Synergy. Oh, you hit for it now. You'll see. A lot of I'm just giving responses based on what I remember from dreaming. What I know about Cloud, but I don't know the full story because I haven't played the whole Final Fantasy VII. So I'm just doing it based off what I know. But they haven't given the full story. We've got to take out the barrier. I'm trying to take out the barrier. That's what I'm doing here. Trying to. I don't think that did anything. Exactly. Jeffrey says they have not touched on everything from the OG yet. Not yet. So, a lot of people, um, Alex, that have played the original Final Fantasy VII are going to know, understand more about the game than people who have. Some aspect. Well, because they they haven't explained everything. Uh, my team's not doing too good. We've got to take out the barrier. I'm trying to take out the barrier. Where is the barrier? His chest? This story, the way they're doing the story in Final Fantasy Remake and Rebirth, they're being very cryptic about the clouds. Oh. The way that they're doing it, you're supposed to not understand everything. I guess I'll try attacking his wings next. I don't know. Anything? No. How in the world did we take down his barrier? People are saying attack the wings. Attack the wings? <laughs> I guess what's his name from shoot? I don't know, it says I'm, I'm seeing the wings say immune though. Immune, 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 immune. Yeah, it says immune, guys. It says immune. Maybe the tips of the wings are immune. I don't know. Not that one. Gonna blow your ass straight to hell! I don't that is Yeah. Immune, 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 immune. You have to attack it first with magic, then you can do it with other things. So Coming at you, hard man. Okay, thank you, Leroy. I appreciate that. This is gonna stay. Uh, that didn't do anything. You got this. You're in good hands now. Let it thunder! Ooh. 
are four likes away from 120. Keep pushing the likes every day. They're doing a variation of the set. I have no idea what color to hit him with that. Honestly, Sephiroth looks really cool. Y'all about to see me get serious. My problem is I never really leveled up my map because. Said, that would help us out better because we kind of don't know what's good against <laughs> So they're ice now. I think we're supposed to use fire. I think. Leave it to me. Use red for blue and blue for red. Just red knight. Oh, they're blue now. Big mistake. Come on now, on my way. Here we go. We were a Vanguard, Red Hood, everyone. I think Jeffrey and everyone. Like playing with fire. That's all I did. Well, I don't have very strong magic. Not necessarily frustrating, but I don't have strong magic. I didn't build up my magic very much. Use wind. It's wind, use lightning. We've got to take out the barrier! It's those stupid wings! Oh, there. Yuffie's letting you know. No, no, they keep telling me to use magic. I don't know. No, no, Yuffie's saying it's that stupid wind. She's giving you a hint for what it is now. So whatever's good against wind. The chat's saying lightning. You got this. You won't regret this. My team has ice. Thunder. Mm. Only Cloud and Tifa have ice. Oh, when it turns green, I think it's wind. It says red light. <laughs> You can use Yuffie's ninjutsu to use her ice. Oh, okay, 
Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. That helped. Hey there, you dirty face! Nothing's gonna stop uh -oh. us. Let's show him what we're made of! Oh, that's not good. Nice red. No mercy, all right? Go wild. This is bad. This one right here is for the flash. Burn on the bank. There you are. Sephiroth! Huh? I must admit, I underestimated you. Well, Aerith's back. I guess? Or un Aerith is I back. Take me later. This ain't over. Right. Okay. Blade burst. Enough of you. Now we have a variation of Sephiroth's theme. What do you think of this clown? Is this is the clown? Oh, for his theme? <laughs> Don't even bother. That shit won't work on me. Not anymore. Sorry, I'm kind of rooting for you. Sorry. Here I come. Ouch. Shit. Get ready. Oh, dang, he just impaled her again. Wow. Shall I sever your thing? No. You guys, if you guys know the ending, try not to spoil it. How can you want an eternity of loneliness? I'm waiting. No more playing nice. My Aerith is like Donald, she never heals. It's one of the reasons I don't use her very much. She's sweet. You're out of luck. 
down with a sweet and down with a sweet and down with a sweet and down I'm just saying, I'm just making a Kingdom Hearts reference. I know, Donald in the... Say goodbye. Donald healed me when he wanted to heal. Aerith does the same thing. Unless I make her heal. <laughs> Aerith, heal us! Your end is nigh. Yeah, Donald is nigh. Your end is nigh. Remember to... With you. Oof. Ow, 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 ow. You're dead. That can cool moves. Poor Cloud. Ah, no. Cloud get. Cloud will have all his awesome moves in the third game. You know he will. They gave him some more of his moves from the original game, though. Alex says, did Cloud ever succeed in saving your Sony universe then? Mm, yes. No. Awesome. I mean, in Remake? Or, in the Remake trilogy? Maybe in the original game. Aerith became a part of the live stream. She and Zack both became the face of the live stream in Advent Wave. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Basically Obi-Wan. Gotta be careful. Here's good. Let's switch it up. We've gotta get through this. Maybe Aerith will be a force ghost going forward. That'd be interesting. Ouch! Oh, you got stabbed through the chest? Are you even alive at this point? I'm fine. Where's your prayer ability? Oh, never mind. Fine, just use the mist potions for now. This one, you can kill it. Ouch! What was that firework blade? Sure, why not? Eric! <laughs> Try using it! Eric! You ready? Oh, wow. Oh, it's it's together. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Shall I sever your fate? No more. Oh. Mm. Oh, so cool. Say goodbye. I like how they had you fight him basically man to man at the end. I feel like remake fight was between Sephiroth and Bobby. It was more like Advent Children. Let's dance, asshole. Oh, I couldn't see because of all the whispers. Oh my god. Oh, that Oops. would've been so cool to see that limit. Oh well. See the ending? Yeah. Now you're just gonna go. Now I'm just gonna hack and slash. Yeah, that was cool. No. Coward! He just flies away. I'll <laughs> see you in the third game, Cloud. Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over.
ready? Everybody's waiting. She's using the whispers to teleport. Oh my god. I think this is pretty powerful. She's a Cetra. Uh, she's gone. Um, I thought she was teleporting you guys. Force ghost confirmed. Wait, she wasn't really there? No, she was there. Not there now. Again, Zach always has to die? No, I don't think so. The whispers are still here. See ya. No, he's back in the white void. He's not dead. We'll see him in the third game. Oh my gosh. Meteor didn't get him. Because Eris in the white void too. Aerith, wake up. Can't stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. I'll see you off. 
Well, at least Sephiroth's not talking to him anymore. Now he is Ghost Aerith. Yep. I don't think anyone else can see Earth. No, I don't think so. Dude, aren't you gonna consult Tifa? Wow, Cloud, dude. She just lost her best friend, man. Tifa. Come on. smiling. Tifa's probably freaking out. Meanwhile, President Rufus. I have to admit, you were quite the man. Who, me? <laughs> I guess not. Anyway, you haven't seen Viceroy Saruf, have you? He failed to show at an important event. He made us look like fools. Maybe he wouldn't have, if you'd spent some money on that set. Ah, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. Still got results, though, even without him. Resistance elements are more fired up than ever. You know, Glenn, I'm on to you. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. <laughs> How very astute. Regardless, the plan is already in motion. Our promised land will become reality. A father's dream, accomplished by his son. I want the real thing, not some imitation. <laughs> but an imitation's all you deserve. like old times. Zack made it back. Did I? No. I couldn't have dreamt that. It all felt way too real. Just as worlds unite, 
so too do they part. <laughs> but who's to say they can't unite again? Nibelheim the next day. a wee bit higher. Screw you, cat. How's this? Whoa. 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 Oh, shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? Cleared for takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair. The hell? The reunion. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, one sec. You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North. Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> All right, fine. We trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it. Take care.
You gonna be okay getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? <gasps> then I'll send up smoke! Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And... I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. No promises await at Journey's End. So, Aerith still died, but now she's a Force Ghost. Yeah, like in um, Advent Children, basically. No, I'd say this version of Aerith is more powerful than Advent Children Aerith. Like, she's actually able to manifest her spirit so Cloud can see her. As well as, before I thought Cloud was just crazy, but she touched Red. Red felt Aerith. Yeah. So, she's not just an illusion. That means Aerith's story is not over. Like, she's gonna have a big role to play in the third game. Which is way different than the original. Because she showed up at the very end in the original as part of the life stream. But she didn't really have more of her story to tell. So, we're gonna see behind the scenes what happened to Aerith in the life stream, basically. No. No, we're gonna get to see a whole new story for, like, Aerith interacting with, uh, Red and Cloud in the future. And also, I still believe that there is a version of Aerith that's still alive, like, in some multiverse. I think Cloud did save Aerith in one universe. Yeah. And he failed to save her in other ones. Or Cloud is hallucinating. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Max. It says, what sort of adventures will follow up with the gang? Only time will tell. Definitely a 10. No, a 100 out of 10 for sure. Everything about this is so awesome. I still think that, I mean, Tifa's really mad at Cloud right now, though. And she thinks Cloud's crazy. Barrett thinks Cloud's crazy. Yeah, everyone thinks he's crazy. So which that's, kind of that's going to play a big role because, I mean, he did go crazy in the original game. And then Tifa helped him find himself. Um... All right, thank you for the highlighted message, Jotaro. Says, not a Force Ghost, it's another timeline, Aerith. She can't stay in the original timeline in indefinitely. Ah, so it's thank another you. version of Aerith. Thank you, Jotaro, for the highlighted message and for being a member for 19 months. Thank you so much. Interesting. So you don't think it's Force Ghost. You don't think it's Spirit Aerith. You think that it's a another physical embodiment of Aerith that only Cloud can see. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, I guess we'll find out. I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, we'll find out we'll whenever find the next game comes out, which will be a while from now. It'll be quite a while. You can see all the different voice actors associated with this. I just saw John DiMaggio. That's uh, the guy who played Joker and uh, Jake the Dog was in this. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, hopefully the next game will be in a couple of years. <laughs> the last one took quite a while. Elijah wrote, 2028, 
empty space for 2099. No. <laughs> At the latest, I think probably 2026 is when we'll see the conclusion of Final Fantasy VII. Another Let's Play is complete, says Jacob. Yep. Yep, this we is have, Final have, Fantasy Rebirth. This is uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's over. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, another Let's Play is... Complete! complete. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is over. Um, I did just about all the side quests that I could think of, or at least all the ones that I wanted to. We ended up with uh, um, doing the gold saucer with Tifa. Tifa and Cloud are kind of estranged right now. They have kind of mixed feelings. And Tifa is really um, missing her BFF. Yeah. So that's, you know, I don't think Cloud and Tifa are going to pick up right where they were um, until, like, later on in the next game. Yeah, but, I mean, like, I, I feel like a lot of people were saying in some of the streams, like, that Cloud and Tifa aren't, weren't really very far along in their relationship, but they actually were because it's a... The, you know, it's Japanese, so people don't have a lot of PDA in Japan. No, they don't. And um, actually, it took Luke and I... I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of PDA, and it took us a lot of time dating before I ended up holding hands with Luke. Yeah, it was so a... So it was, you know, Tifa's not a forward type of person. And also, that wasn't a confession yet. You have to... This is going like an anime. Yes, Tifa and Cloud kissed, but... Like, neither one of them confessed that they like each other yet. That was the first, like, big step that they took. Yeah, just because people don't, like, have a lot of PDA or something doesn't mean that they haven't progressed their relationship a lot. Also... Spending time with somebody is an important part of that. Out of all the dates on the Golden Saucer, like, between the two, the other girls, Aerith and Yuffie and Tifa, the only girl who gets kissed is Tifa. Mm -hmm. That is the only one that has, like, the romantic kiss. Each, uh, Yuffie and Aerith have, like, different things. Some cultures you don't even kiss till after you're married. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, like, just because even if they didn't kiss, it doesn't mean that they're not, they don't, they're not a couple. If I had to guess, I would say, like, at the end of the world thing, they'll go into more detail about, like, Tifa and Cloud's, like, last night together before the end. Mm -hmm. Um, just like they... Well, actually, no. They kind of thrust it on the players in the original Final Fantasy VII. Like, they spent the night together and, you know, it was ambiguous. Like, oh, did you guys... And they were both very shy, so maybe we'll get to see more of that in the third game. But um, the team originally was distraught when Aerith died. This time around, all of them had a big emotional connection to Aerith. But yeah. the one who had the biggest relationship with Aerith was Tifa. Tifa was not only her rival for Cloud's affection... But also, it was like her best friend. They were always talking. If you go back to um, the beginning of Rebirth, those two are always hanging out, talking. They're staying in the same hotel room together. Like, they yeah. were very close. So, uh, Tifa missing Aerith is going to be a big part of um, the third game. It'll have a bigger emotional impact than it ever did. Mm. I really believe that. So, uh... there, are, Yeah, there are cultures that do that. There's even some people in the United States that do that. There's some cultures in the U.S. that you can see people talking about it online um, where they believe that it's important to wait. They wait till after they get married before they even have their first kiss or like during the wedding can be their first kiss ever. Not every person, not every culture believes in PDA before they get married. Okay, so um, <laughs> Freedom Planet Episode 5 will be tomorrow. You guys hit a thousand views. Um, so yeah, that just happened. To just so to explain like what I'm saying is, you know, I I didn't I made Luke wait six months before I held his hand. Mm -hmm. and we hardly ever saw each other at all. And when we got married was the first time we ended up really spending time with each other or anything. And when we're when you know, it's like so people would probably think we're very similar to that kind of culture where I I didn't you know. I didn't. Most of our dates were just having coffee and no PDA whatsoever. And that's a thing with Japanese people as well. They don't they don't do PDA in public, so it would make just because they're not touchy feely doesn't mean they're not growing close together. Spending time is how a lot of cultures learn to know each other. Like Tifa and Cloud are spending time together. That is growing their relationship. 
It's do it doesn't have to be physical to grow your relationship. It's gonna take time, though. Like, most animes usually takes 12 or 24 episodes for a couple to actually make a commitment and then the thing's over. Like, I don't think they'll actually get together until the very end of Final Fantasy VII, like, Part Three, Because that's what happened at the original. And the original... I always thought everybody died because the meteorite comes down, the life stream happens, and then it looks like everybody gets sucked into the life stream. And then you didn't find out what happened to everybody until Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. And then somehow, miraculously, everybody survived but Sephiroth. Um, like, Aerith saved everybody. But it looked like, to the player, that the Final Fantasy VII ending was everyone died. The Earth was saved, but all life... All human life vanished. Because the last thing you see in the original Final Fantasy VII is you see Red and his offspring running around on top of the Earth. Like, so Red survived, but it wasn't until Advent Children that anybody knew anything, you know? And then Final Fantasy VIII came not long after Final Fantasy VII, and that was a trippy game. <laughs> so, and then Final Fantasy IX... Uh, but Advent Children, you know, it kind of changed the whole Final Fantasy VII thing. Like, and it became like this bigger thing. And then there was all these spin-off games for both Vincent the Vampire and uh, you had Zach Fair getting his own game as well. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, guys, the next stream is going to be Spider-Man. If you guys could head over and start smashing the like button for Spidey, that'd be fantastic. Um, there was an error with YouTube, so... The future holds the answer. It's a long journey, but we'll be here. Definitely empty space. Personally, I would like to see, um, Oof. Zach and Aerith get reunited and get back together instead of them getting back together in death, because in, uh, the original, like, Aerith and, um, Zach aren't reunited until they're both dead and a part of the life stream. And you see them holding hands at the end of Advent Children, like their spiritual forms and you know, kind of watching over Tifa and Cloud, and it's, eh, doesn't have the same, you know, impact as, oh, you know, yay, their spirits got together, but it'd be nice that they both physically could actually see each other again. So we don't even know where Zack is, but Zack is alive, which is good. But I want more Zack in the next one. Thank you for the stream, Luke and Amber. Thank you so much, Jade Rose. Maybe Vincent and Sid will be playable, hopefully, says Max. Yeah, definitely, Max. <laughs> There'll be no post-game for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Nope, we're not doing post-game. Um, like, you would have to go back to the previous save point that I did uh, and finish up uh, some of the remaining side quests. And most of the side quests involve, hmm. uh, like, racing Chocobo... Doing Queen's Blood, um, some mini games, things like oh, that. Oh wow! There are some additional oh. character stories we could see, mm. but yeah. About two to three years for the next part. It's close to finish, says Joe Toro. Yeah, it'll probably be two to three years. That's why I said 2026, probably. That's what I'm hoping for. That'd be nice. I don't want to wait four oh, years again. People want to know what we would give the game as a rating. I'd give the game probably a nine. That's I really... think I think a nine is fair. There are some aspects I don't like about the game. I don't like how they basically changed the whole grinding mechanic to be like Final Fantasy 16. I hated the grinding mechanic in Final Fantasy 16. Um, so it it feels reminiscent to Final Fantasy 15 and 16, and I don't really like that. Um, I liked what you did with the grinding in Final Fantasy Remake. Um, mm -hmm. It felt a lot better in that sense. So I didn't appreciate having my time wasted for like two eight-hour streams where I set out to grind and get my character stronger. Yeah. So that was kind of annoying. But, you know, other than that, uh, and a few hiccups along the way, I I'd still give the game a 9. I think it's a solid game. I'd recommend it. But, I mean, this is like one of those kind of like Kingdom Hearts games where you don't want to miss an episode. So you have to play Final Fantasy Remake to understand where the characters' relationships are in Final Fantasy Rebirth. And the same thing is you have to play Final Fantasy Rebirth to understand what the heck is going to go on in Final Fantasy VII Part Three, or you'll have no idea. It's not one of those games you can just pick up and be like, all right, I'm just going to enjoy this RPG. It's like you can, but in terms of storyline, you're going to be massively confused because everything that happened in this game is going to have a huge payoff in the third game. Yeah, so, so you, know, you have to play you have the to. first... 
two parts. Mm -hmm. You have to play both Remake and you have to play this one. And I would argue but... you have to play Crisis Core as well. Yeah. You have to play Final Fantasy Crisis Core. I mean, I, I think... I mean, the game... I think I would have given it a 9.5 if the combat system was fine. But I don't know. No, I love the combat. I just well, don't like how the grinding works. Yeah, the grinding is the problem. I mean, maybe like 8.7 because of the grinding problem. Basically, just like Final Fantasy 15 and 16, you have to complete the side quests in order to grind. Like, just fighting monsters does squat. You can't farm monsters. You can't do anything. So, if people are expecting, oh, I can make myself a little bit stronger, it's like, no, you have to do the side quests. And since the side quests were all part of my series anyway, it's not like I could go ahead and do side quests before I would start streaming, because the side quests have, like, interlocking for different characters. Like, it's cool to see the characters fleshed out, and that's something you want to share with your audience when you're streaming. So I couldn't go and do the side quests, because they would miss key character moments that, you know, flesh out the characters more. So I had to make a choice. Um, and, I mean, out of those eight-hour grinding sessions that I attempted, the characters only leveled up once in, like, the span of, like, a four-hour stream. That's pathetic. Any other RPG, right. I would have grinded... I would have leveled up at least three or four times in a four-hour stream. Maybe more. So. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, I like the open world mechanic originally in Final Fantasy VII, like the OG though. Like the whole world was connected and you could run to it and stuff like that. This didn't really feel like a, a massive like free roaming area. Also, you couldn't go back to Midgar. You couldn't go back to some of the previous locations. You were out in basically essentially what was the first disc of the game. So now, in terms of the original Final Fantasy VII with the death of Aerith, we're at the end of the first disc. The characters fly off, they're in search of Sephiroth, and then the crazy cloud aspect of the game, that story arc begins now, just like in the original. And then, of course, they'll probably combine, like, the, the second disc as all one game. Just like, you could mm -hmm. argue that this part, like, this, this section of the game from uh, the village of um, the town of, oh, what was the name of the beginning town again? Calm. The beginning of Calm, all the way through the Temple of the Ancients, that was the first disc. And then, like, Midgar was just, like, a small part of the first disc, which they took the Midgar story in Final Fantasy Remake, and they expanded it more than what was in the original game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, Luke. And so the third game will deal with areas that we haven't gone to, as well as things that we couldn't accomplish before, like that giant bird that's in Junon that you can see. That'll play a big role in the uh, in the story, as well as I really hope we get the Knights of the Round summon. Because Gilgamesh was cool, but nothing beats King Arthur and his knights. Like, it is the strongest summon in Final Fantasy VII. Like, yeah. I always use the... the Knights of the Round against Sephiroth. Oh, which one did you said is the, your favorite one to use? Knights, knights of the, of the Round. Round yeah. Knights of the Round is the best summon. Mm. King Arthur and his uh, 12 knights attack, and they do, like, an insane amount of damage. It's like the ultimate endgame move. Oh, it's neat that they're putting uh, clips from the game and all the different yep, characters. Yep, they're showing see. you everything that happened. Yep. So make sure you guys go over and you like uh, Spider-Man so we can get oh. to Spidey. Sephiroth is like, why am I in these memory clips? I will never be a memory. I will never be a memory. <laughs> and yet, here you are being a memory. Yeah. yeah. There's Tifa and her dad. Yep. And Red X being, like, hurt by Hojo. So basically right now, Cloud is a combination of three personalities. The dominant personality is Zack. Cloud is there. Mm -hmm. But Sephiroth is also inside of Cloud's head. So what oh, has to happen cool. in the third game is basically Cloud has to become the dominant personality. So that yeah. means Cloud's real personality has to come back. Yeah. The reason why he has an attachment to Aerith is because he's mostly Zack. Yeah, it's the part of Zack inside of him that's mm -hmm. attached. Yep. Yep. That makes sense. You saw a little bit of Cloud's personality when Tifa had flashbacks, but for the most part, Cloud is not a whole character. He's an empty shell, as Sephiroth says. Yeah. Even at the end of the game where Zack and Cloud were repeating the same uh -huh. line, those are all yeah, Zack's lines. Yeah, right. Yeah, Cloud's original personality has to come back. Mm-hmm. 
It will. The because that, that's that's what the, the whole... The cloud that grew up with Tifa and remembered her. That's what the next disc of the original Final Fantasy VII was. Clouds, mm -hmm. which is why when I was a kid, I thought Cloud was a clone. Because he acted yeah. weird. And then yeah. when he was speaking to Ghost Cloud, I thought that was Cloud's soul. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, it turns out it was Cloud's real personality that becomes the dominant personality. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Yep, and then Cloud's mannerisms and everything changed in the original game. Right now, he's mm -hmm. kind of like a stoic version of Zack. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd have to compare the boss fight at the mm. end with the boss fight for Sephiroth for remake because you said like the boss fight for remake. Um, you liked that one better where we fought Sephiroth. I didn't even remember the that boss one. fight in remake was a basically updated version of Advent Children. So mm. when Cloud and Sephiroth are fighting and they're jumping on like. Um, all the debris inside of um, the Arbiter or whatever mm -hmm. at the end of Remake. Yeah. That's basically what the fight was like in Advent Children. So, yeah, personally, I think the final fight between Sephiroth and Cloud in Remake was better than the fight um, with Aerith and Cloud. It was okay, but I felt like the Zack and Cloud fight was better. Yeah. But still, yeah. the fight sequence between Sephiroth and the team at the end of Remake was better. Mm, yeah. But also, yeah. it was a tribute to Advent Children, so. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's really cool, Luke. I have yet to see... I don't even know what the updated Advent Children movie that Square released this year was. Like, if they actually changed the visuals or what. Yeah, there's Zack and Cloud together. But I was under the impression when I was playing this game that we would get to see more of Zack's story and stuff like that. And Zack was just kind of like side filler uh, so, to build yeah. up to the final fight at the end of the game. That wasn't enough for me for Zack. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to see a lot of Zack next time. You will, because he survived. Yeah, yeah, that will be cool, Luke. Aerith threw him into the void, and then he ended up back in his dimension. Yeah, yeah. That I like to imagine them finding each other in the void. That would be nice. And it's possible that version of Aerith with Cloud right there is also in the void as well, because she vanishes. Hmm, yeah. That's possible. And it still makes sense to me that she'd be like some type of force ghost. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, people say, well, she's not a ghost, she's in another dimension, but many people see the afterlife as another dimension, so there's really no difference between being a ghost and being in another dimension. That's kind of what a ghost is. Because based on what they're doing at the end of the game, where they're all sitting around, in the original one, Cloud walks Aerith into the pool and she sinks below it. Like, she's basically buried inside of the, the temple of the Cetra. Mm -hmm. In this one, you don't actually see her body anymore. Yeah. So everybody's mourning her. Tifa's closest to the pool, so you're assuming they already dropped her in there. Yeah, I but... mean, like, I don't... I mean, I don't know if people have inside information, if everyone on the internet has interviewed Square Enix on this, but I feel like a lot of these things people are speculating on, they don't really... We don't know. We haven't seen the next game. I feel like so we're going to get... kind of have these opinions, but nobody really knows what's going to happen in the next game. I feel we're going to get Final Fantasy VII 3, or Part 3, before we get Kingdom Hearts, because I think Square is uh, working on the, the third game right now. Yeah. In fact, I thought somebody said that they were working on Part 2 and 3 at the same time, and 3 is going to be a much bigger game than this one was. Mm hmm So. Oh, for which one, Kingdom Hearts? Or no, this, this one. Oh, somebody okay. said oh, the third one, the third installment. I was this? reading, I was reading an interview oh, yeah. during the pandemic that parts um, two and three were being worked on at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me that. That yeah. way, there wouldn't have to be like this massive four-year uh, wait period between the games. That way, you know, it'd be like at least like two and a half or like a year and a half, something like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, like, who know? I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I, I see, f yeah, I see, you know, I mean, I think, like, I think Aerith is in the live stream. She could be in the live stream in some versions of herself, and also she's in another dimension in other versions of herself, you know? Because some of her versions died and some of hers didn't, so some of her versions aren't in the live stream because that was the original story. I mean, we won't know until the third game. Cloud could be hallucinating and think he saved Aerith and he didn't. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, I, I find it strange that people say this happened, no, this happened, 
and they're like disagreeing, but nobody knows what happened because mm-hmm. we haven't gotten the third game, so there's no use like worrying about yep, it. Yep, there you go. So chapter selection mm-hmm. basically is the new game plus um, mm-hmm. for Final Fantasy, just like it was in remake. Same thing. Can go back. You can replay. Do stuff you missed. You get to retain all your levels, all that fun stuff. Oh wow! Just like we did the the new game plus for the other one, which really the new game plus for this is just basically chapter select. No, I like um, Square's version of new game plus better than some other like things like yeah. Spider Man and some of that other stuff. It's fun, but. I mean, you know, you just go through the chapter select and you bring everything in with you. Yeah, yeah. It feels cool to be able to go to the first level and then bring all your equipment with you. You would have to start the game all over again, like on chapter select, in order to hit like your max level, which is like, I think 75 is the highest your characters can get in this. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I really liked the One Winged Angel theme at the end. That was really cool. And I liked seeing um, everything, like uh, Cloud and Zack fighting side by side, mm-hmm. and um, everything that was really cool. Like the whole, the whole ending was really. It's kind of like hard to believe this isn't the ending of the game. Like there's so much more to the games, so I'm excited to find out the story to the rest of the game. Blood game max level is seventy. Okay, thanks Vanguard. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So that's it. That's all. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is done. If they do DLC. Uh, we'll be back covering the game, but um, that's all. Mm-hmm. And kind of, I mean, I don't really have to race this game off my system right now because uh, I don't really have anything to replace it, right? Well, I mean, Stellar Blade, but we can't show Stellar Blade on this um, on this channel. So mm-hmm. there you go. Player logs. So now you can actually view character relationships. Gold sec, uh, gold saucer companion section when choosing eight chapters eight and twelve. Um, you can pick a character with a close enough relationship to Cloud to accompany him in the Golden Saucer, combat simulator notes, uh, play logs, so you get to see character relationships, all kinds of stuff now, um, which was not available when people are saying, oh, you can check the character relationships. It's like, no, you couldn't before. Um, That's added after you complete the main game. Yeah, Jacob52, if you have questions about another game, you could always leave a comment after the stream. I don't know if Luke is going to answer questions about that. Yep. As far as I know, that game, uh, that DLC wrecked his game. Yeah, we I won't out, be we doing... Out, we were out a lot of money for that. We lost a, and a lot of viewers, too. And it completely too. wrecked our game, so there's nothing we can... There's nothing we can do about it. Mm. This is, uh, what was this? This was post-game two... Was it one? Yeah, there you go. Post game stuff. Yeah, just so you guys know, even if you're a regular viewer, if you, you know, are argumentative at all with people, like, I'm kind of letting it slide now, but just so you know, like, please don't say things like, you know, arguing with people and be like, no, that's not true. This is how it is. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, try to be civil because I will have to delete your comments and, you know, it's a, it's supposed to be a nice place for people to hang out and just enjoy stuff. So, you know, if you're going to kind of like be and, um, you know, have animosity towards people, even if you're not, if that's just your personality. I'm deleting everyone's comments who, who, who does that all the time on every stream. So if you're one person, that's just your personality, then you're going to have your comments deleted. If you have a friend who's a mod, that's going to tell on me that I'm deleting your comments. I'm treating you the same as everyone else. And if you start, you know, having something out with me personally where you're disrespecting me and you get your friend who's a mod in trouble, they're going to be demoted. So please act like everyone else. You're no better than anyone else. Just act like everyone else and please be respectful. Okay, so after you complete the game, like I was telling you guys before, in post game you have the ability, as they're showing here, you can change your costumes and go through and wear clouds like beach wear or whatever you want to do. And uh, you're not regulated to just um, Costa de Sol or whatever. Like you can actually wear the weird costumes, the bathing suits, whatever, during the more intense parts of the story and all kinds of stuff. If you wanted to. I mean, you don't have to, but you could. As well as uh, both um, Red and um, the Cat's costumes are available now because we did that. Whoops. Is it okay? That's it. All right. That's everything. 
Uh, all right, people. That's it. That's all. Final Fantasy is done. Uh, head on over to Spider-Man. And uh, I will see you guys in a little bit. I have to make the YouTube short for uh, 1130. So Spidey is next. And uh, then Spider-Man will be wrapping up pretty quickly, too. Um, remember, 40 likes is needed for Spider-Man to start. And Spider-Man has 13. So if you guys... There's about 100 of you guys here. You could easily go and uh, just uh, show Spidey some love real quick. So I can get to work. Uh, so there's the link. And you guys will be redirected. So just head on over there and uh, get that stuff going for Spider-Man for me. And I'm going to go work on your YouTube short as well as finish my dinner. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I will be posting an update video to tell you what games we're we'll covering this month. The only other game that I know of that we'll be doing uh, definitely is a Ninja Turtles game that's coming out, but it's not very long, and that'll be later this month. And uh, as for T-rated games, I'm really going to have to mm, see what's coming out. To, this month is kind of a dry spell. May has content that's going to be good, like Paper Mario and stuff like that. This month doesn't really have all that much. It's it's what we call a dry month. Outside of you know M-rated games, M-rated games has some you know pretty cool stuff at the end of the month, but there's really not that much happening uh, in the month of April for you know E through T-rated games. We stretched Final Fantasy VII as long as we could, and Ace Attorney will be ending this month as well, probably. Like, Ace will probably be over by uh, end of April, early May. We'll see. All right, guys. God bless. Happy gaming. See you on uh, Spider-Man. Thanks for watching Final Fantasy, everybody. Hope you had fun. Laters. See ya.